I think we really romanticize growth in life, whether it's financial growth or like personal growth, relationship growth, and the reality of it is that most of the time the process of growing is terribly scary and uncomfortable, but it's almost always worth it. It's a disaster. My Hoover home, I'm not sure it's comparable to Harry Potter. Tom Lake by Anne Patchett. Think of a dream come true wish that you want for yourself. And we're gonna share this moment together. With all of our wishes combined, it will create a moment. Mm. Oh, I just spilled. I'm drinking peppermint tea, it's my go-to, and I'm drinking it out of my room mug, which I got for Landon, but I use it most often, perhaps because I drink tea like 24-7. Hmm, good, good stuff. Um, hi friends. If no one's told you today, or this week, or ever, I just wanna say that I'm so proud of you for making it to today, getting up, out of bed, and getting to your day-to-day -day through the week is an accomplishment in and of itself in this thing we call life, which can be incredibly challenging. So I just wanna say that I am proud of you and you're doing an amazing job and you deserve to enjoy your life. And that is that. So welcome to Friday. It's the freaking weekend and I need you here with me because I am alone this weekend. Landon is away until Sunday and it's currently Friday morning and I am determined to enjoy this and not let loneliness get to me. I have no plans per usual, but I did want to focus on reading because I've fallen into a major reading slump since finishing A Court of Thorns and Roses series. Those books consumed the first few months of my year and I was reading so much because they were so good and now I just haven't been able to finish much of anything. I have several books that I've started but not finished and I'd like to try and finish some of them this weekend. I'm gonna begin with, let me take you with me, um, the Wild Magic Trilogy, Begone the Raggedy Witches. I just dropped that. <laughs> Begone the Raggedy Witches by Celine Kiernan. She's an Irish author, and this book on the back cover says Ireland's Answer to J.K. Rowling. So I am just over halfway through, and I'd like to finish this book tonight, I think. I'm not sure it's comparable to Harry Potter. It gives me Matilda vibes, Roald Dahl Matilda vibes. It's very spooky in like a fun children's literature way. I think it's the perfect autumnal read, if I'm honest. And if you've read and enjoyed Wildwood by Colin Malloy, I think you would enjoy this and vice versa. I still have a work day ahead of me and I'm feeling really nervous at the moment because I have a meeting with a bank. I'm going to try and open a new bank account and I'm feeling super super nervous mostly because my previous experiences with banking going to a bank involved student loans which was not a great experience actually really really terrible and so this is my first time going to an in-person meeting at the bank since my student loan acquiring era <laughs> and I'm hoping to rewrite those negative experiences into a positive experience. I don't feel confident but I'm going to act confident and I'm going to put my best foot forward. So if you have not already go ahead and make yourselves a heartwarming cup of tea, grab your coziest of comfy blankets and let's get this day started. at the bank I got front row parking which is a really good sign and I'm super nervous but it's gonna be great I've got no boogles in my nose no lipstick on my teeth <sighs> I can do this 
I did it! I did it! I sweat through all of my clothes, like it's dripping underneath of here, but I did it. And it was a positive experience. And I feel free and I feel so excited for the weekend ahead. And I just feel really, really proud of myself for doing something that was scary to me. And it's a really healing experience having it be okay. Always, I find myself having to step outside my comfort zone to live my best life. And it's 1000% of the time terribly uncomfortable, but almost always worth it. We always talk about growth and I think we really romanticize growth in life, whether it's financial growth or like personal growth, relationship growth, just any kind of growth we really romanticize. And the reality of it is that most of the time the process of growing is terribly scary and uncomfortable and really hard and often sucks but like I said it's almost always worth it and it's one of those things that you don't see the goodness of it until you're through it so yeah today was a small example but I'm feeling really good and really hungry I couldn't eat anything before because I was so nervous and the meeting went way longer than expected it was two hours so i'm starving and i want to make myself an avocado toast i also have Catherine coming over she helps me mail out all of my patreon orders and does all of my shop orders as well and then a bit of email communication too she's absolutely incredible so i'm gonna change make myself an avocado toast and then finish work for the week Oh, it feels so good, so good. We can do hard things. Do you like um, like the sweet balsamic? Great. How do you feel about butter lettuce? Good morning, happy Saturday. It is sunny and warm today, and I wanna wear a dress. 
I haven't gotten to wear a dress in so long. And look at this dress. It has puffed sleeves. Uh, it's so happy and springy and it would feel so good to wear this today. So I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna update you guys on the books that I've read. Wow, I feel like Princess Peach from Mario Kart or perhaps Alice in Wonderland. Basically, I feel like I should be going to a tea party somewhere magical and I'm not going anywhere. My only plan for the day is to be at home and enjoy myself and actually to do some baking. And you know what? It feels so good to get dressed up and dolled up for no other reason but that I enjoy it and that I want to do it for myself. Like this isn't for anyone else. It's just for me and it feels so good. Oh, and also my dress is from Free the Roses in case you're curious. I really like it. It's really good quality. So I was absolutely exhausted <laughs> yesterday. It's like I went to my meeting at the bank and all the adrenaline, all the nerves, all the excitement, it just depleted me and I was so tired that I fell asleep at 9 p.m. last night and I woke up at 8.30 a.m. this morning. That's nearly 12 hours of sleep, but I needed it. Anytime you sleep like that, you need it. So I'm feeling super refreshed. I did manage to finish Be Gone the Raggedy Witches and I really enjoyed it. I mean, I would rate it three out of five stars. It wasn't anything extraordinary, but it was a nice escape, a comforting place to go to, and I would definitely recommend it for an autumnal read. It's good autumnal vibes. To give a brief summary, the main character, Mup, lives in a quiet house with her mom and dad and brother and dog, and chaos is introduced to the story when raggedy witches come to capture her mother, who turns out to be a witch herself. And Mup embarks on this grand adventure to save her parents with her brother and her dog and a friend she meets along the way named Crow, who happens to be a raven. Just a magical place to escape to. I spent my morning reading My Hooga Home, How to Make Home Your Happy Place. I've been reading this um, since last December, I think, actually, and it's one of those books that's great to pick up here and there and just read a page or two. It's broken into very readable sections, and it's all about how to adopt a hooga lifestyle, meaning how to find contentment, calm, and community in your everyday life. It focuses on how to transform your home environment to achieve this, but also how to cultivate meaningful friendships and build community and just experience more joy in your life. And I've not finished it. I'm very nearly there. I had about 100 pages left, and now I think I have about 60 pages left. But I do always find myself laughing when I pick up this book. It's super uplifting, and I came across a challenge from the author. There's this entire section about laughter and one of my New Year's resolutions is to laugh more. So I've been watching more stand-up comedy and feel-good movies and just allowing myself to be silly and to appreciate the silliness of others. And in this section about laughter, the author writes, laughter can also be contagious. You are more likely to catch laughter from someone else if you know them. But here's the challenge. Google laughter change and see whether you can make it through a video without laughing or smiling. And I want to do that right now with you guys. So I'm going to Google laughter change or laughter chain. I have my laptop right here and I'm going to watch the video and I hope to laugh. And I want you guys to do the same. I'm Googling laughter chain. Okay, let's see. It looks like there's a bunch of results for Skype specifically. And I'm just gonna try the first one, which is four minutes and 24 seconds. Best of Skype laughter chain, YouTube. Wow, who knew that laughter chains were a thing? Uh, 
Whew, that felt good. I am so glad that I did that, that we did this. Thank you for indulging me. Ah, so good. Yeah. I think laughter is one of the keys to longevity. I shall continue my endeavor to laugh more often. Not be so serious and so worried and so nervous and so anxious. No, all of it is okay. Let's get some fresh air and sunshine in this house. Open up the windows. It's actually quite cloudy all of a sudden. I think it might rain. <sighs> okay, I am craving a sweet treat. I mean, when am I not craving a sweet treat? I have an exceptional sweet tooth. But I bought, where? I bought myself. 90 wait how's this here we go i hope this is the right way for the camera yeah i bought myself 90 candles to celebrate hitting 90,000 subscribers when i hit 80,000 subscribers i made myself a cake and it was a really fun way to celebrate and i wanted to do it to celebrate 90,000 subscribers and i came across this recipe for strawberry cupcakes by nora cooks my go-to girl she is the best vegan recipes it looks really complicated and i'm not sure that i have all the ingredients but i'm gonna experiment and i'm up for a challenge and in the spaces in between while the cupcakes are cooking and while things need to cool i'm gonna continue reading my book First step is to puree the strawberries with no added liquid, which is difficult in a blender. So, that was easier than expected. Like a candle, I just burn away. chef who helps me clean all my dishes sit okay, boy. there you go and of course while the cupcakes bake we have to do our obligatory dance party so as to enrich the cupcakes with as much joy and happiness and life as possible enough I got too impatient and I added the frosting before I should have and also I added some strawberry puree to the frosting because I wanted it to be pinker and that made it a bit more liquidy and so it was too runny oh. I love them they might look ridiculous you guys but they make me so happy. Here's to 90,000 subscribers. There are 90,000 of us here together and you all mean the world to me and this is my absolute dream life. Seriously, 
a dream come true. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes, there's frosting dripping all over the floor. And Rue is licking it up and he's, there's also frosting dripping on him. So without further ado, I want you to close your eyes. Think of a dream come true wish that you want for yourself. And we're gonna share this moment together with all of our wishes combined. It will create a most wonderful magic that will help our wishes to come true. Ready? Close your eyes, make a wish. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, Rue is pink. Ah. Look at this. Ah. What happened to you, sir? Hey, Rue. Oh my gosh, you're covered in pink frosting. Look at you. <laughs> wow, this is Rue's wish come true, actually. It is time to try one of these cupcakes. Also, I would like to formally apologize to anyone who is an actual baker out there who might have been driven crazy by my baking faux pas. It was fun. I hope you had fun. Here we go. Are deceiving because this is exquisite. 90,000. I so wish I could share these piddly cupcakes with you. And I said that when I made my 80,000 cake, which was also a bit of a disaster, but a wonderful disaster. And it got me thinking, you guys, when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I want to have a meetup in person. Ooh, it makes me so, so nervous to think of like, I don't know, being with you guys in person, just as like a, a shy person. But in my last video, I was talking about friendship and how connected I feel with you all. And so many people commented that they wished that I would have a meetup in Oregon because we're all so similar and I think that we could have a really good time together. So to celebrate hitting 100,000 subscribers, whenever I hit that, I want to host an in-person meetup and I will be able to actually share my piddly cupcakes or cake with you and we can celebrate together and I think it will be really really amazing now if you'll excuse me I have a mess to clean up and a cupcake to enjoy and a book to read are you coming Misha? was that your wish come true come here you silly dog a silly girl and a silly dog I'm gonna have to give you a bath I am totally gonna have to give you a bath. We're a mess. A happy mess, huh? It's another wonderfully warm, sunny, and bright spring day, and it feels like spring is reaching its pinnacle. Like there are so many flowers in bloom, and I think that they're all peaking. So, for my book today, what I want to do is listen to an audiobook and go for a walk 
and soak up as many of the spring flowers as I possibly can before they all go away. So I've been listening to the audiobook um, Tom Lake by Ann Patchett. It's been a really cozy, uplifting read, and I mean Meryl Streep, ah, so good. So yeah, I'm gonna listen to that and go for a walk. And I'll bring my fresh and clean Misha Rue with me. Do you wanna go for a walk? He's giving me mad side eye from the couch right now. He's not very happy about the bath that he had this morning. Ah, he's so good though. Also, you guys, look at my hair. I decided to do some braids. I think ideally my braids would have more volume, but my hair is so fine that it just lays flat. But I really like this hairstyle and my hair is long enough to cross them in the back so I don't have this like awkward line down the back of my head. Yeah, that was a fun experiment and I feel really pretty with my hair up like this and I'm also wearing rose petal earrings. These are real rose petals. I bought them from an artist at a local farmer's market. So yeah, I dolled myself up again today and it feels really nice. Let's go look at some flowers. Well, it is a good few hours later and I have finished Tom Lake by Ann Patchett, narrated by Meryl Streep, and it was so wholesome and so comforting. It's the story of a woman. Well, it follows a family who lives on a cherry farm and there's a mother and her three daughters and they have a wonderful dynamic between them. And the story consists of the mother reliving her teenage and 20 years as an actress. And the daughters are so invested in the story and it's just so sweet and so uplifting and is a really good relaxing audiobook listen. It was the perfect way to enjoy this spring day and I've really really enjoyed this weekend which feels like an accomplishment. I was super nervous going into it, as you guys know, but I felt good. Like, it was fine. It was enjoyable. Being alone wasn't lonely and it wasn't scary. So I would definitely count this weekend a success. And I've added three books to my have read in 2024 reading list. So that's an accomplishment. It felt really good to prioritize time just for me, just to read, and to be okay on my own. So thank you for sharing this time with me. You guys definitely helped. Like if you weren't here, I would not feel so motivated to uh, enjoy my life as best as I can. So thank you. After my walk, I still had a good bit of the audiobook to finish and I worked on an illustration for my Patreon and I wanted to share with you guys last month's illustration. So every single month I send out a postcard and a sticker on my Patreon specifically to the cinnamon and clove tier and last month's illustration was I think my all-time favorite. And here it is. This is the postcard and this is the sticker and I love them because they're so whimsical and playful and who doesn't love tea? And if I could make any tea in the world, it would be a tea where every time you drink it, you had good thoughts. So that's what I illustrated because I can't physically make such a thing, I illustrated it. And I'm just so happy with how it turned out. And lastly, I just want to reiterate that I am so proud of you for making it to today. 
to the end of the week and for just getting up every day and going about your routine and as i was saying before growth is really hard or it usually feels super uncomfortable so however you're feeling whatever you're going through just know that it's okay and it's going to be okay so go easy on yourself give yourself a big hug i'm giving you a big hug and again thank you so much for being here with me and i look forward to seeing you very soon i love you